Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back. We are going to be going over some Atriox support gameplay. Next up will be the Shipmaster Assault, so keep that in mind, and then we'll move on to the human side. But in this one, we are going to be going over my Atriox support. Uh, this is a little bit of a harder support deck uh, to play than Decimus, but it still plays, I'd say, decently well as support. Uh, it's not amazing, but it, it's not a horrible support. I may end up doing another one uh, called Atriox Assault because I feel like he may be better off as an Assault. But in 3v3s, my role tends to be support, so that that's how I played him, is as a support. But you start out with these two Banshees as well as a Marauder. Um, and so, as always, I'm going to select my troops and head off over towards C. I actually, I actually, we've decided to start maybe trying to push for B instead of C, um, just to grab a few extra seconds. So I've started to go to B, and I thought I could maybe beat them to this point, um, and steal this energy, uh, which would be huge because they were a little slow off the start. And I actually do beat them here, but they moved in quicker than I did. Uh, they did it a little bit better than I did. I wasn't really, I wasn't fully prepared for it to go down that quick. I thought I'd have time to, you know, attack it and then move um, in uh, briefly while I was attacking it. But pretty much, I showed up. I did a little bit of damage. And it was already gone. Uh, here. I'm looking for a chance to throw down an Engineer because my Marauder's taking a lot of damage. Uh, we're moving all our troops in on C as we usually do. Uh, we have one person up at the top trying to collect the energy up there. And we have the other two, me, the support, and the other person who's not as focused on the energy down at C building armies. Uh, right now we're setting up for this point up here to make sure we can destroy it and collect it. Uh, and then I think we notice uh, on A um, that he's actually getting, or no, he was doing damage to theirs with the Locust set up, uh, and they really weren't even doing anything about it. And then I decided to throw down um, some mines uh, on top of them here. I was trying to wait until they stopped moving, and there we go, I go ahead and throw those down. Just to be a general nuisance, they're pretty cheap um, at 40 energy, so I decided it was probably a good idea. Uh, just to, to put a little bit of panic into them, do a little bit of damage. As you can see, they're retreating off of off of C or off of A. So here we go. I drop down some elite rangers, and this is full just distraction. Limit their points, like I've always talked, like I've talked about in the past couple videos. Uh, just distract them. Buy yourself extra time. Uh, they do kill my elite rangers, and they take it back. But as you can see, I'm actually saving up money here. I could have dropped down my ironclad hunters, and I actually really did think about it onto the point, but I decide instead to drop them down up here and kind of pincer uh, their troops in and trap them uh, so they've got a fight, and the Ironclad Hunters against vehicles are ridiculously good. Um, one of my favorite troops up there with the Bloodfield Locust and the blo and the new Bloodfield Grunts that I got, so I'll probably have to go over those uh, in another video because I haven't talked about Bloodfield Grunts at all. Uh, so now I decided to take my... Uh, Hunter on to A, but he actually took some significant damage on the way out uh, So I'm not going to be able to actually kill this thing with them But I do deal a little bit of damage and I'm able to capture the point and I actually did get away I thought I did die there, but I was able to get away and now energy cores are dropping in uh, So we're going to collect that energy core and then we need to get on our horse and move towards the other energy cores I'm going to take the one on the right there and I was hoping one of my teammates would take the one on the left. We were a little delayed on here. We were a little paying too much attention to the top of the map. Uh, but I'm going to clear this up. And I believe we do get someone onto that point down there. Yeah, you can see down there, there is one of my teammates down there collecting the energy. So we do cl clean up almost all the energy. So we're in a really good place right now. And really, the support deck doesn't come into being a support until until you do a full-on assault. I decided to move my hunter back so he couldn't get sniped off of A and then have them move in on top of it. And this uh, support deck actually does have the spike turret in it. Um, I'm going to be having some other gameplays coming out in the future, uh, and it won't have the spike turret. Uh, but like I said, these are just kind of rough gameplays. They're not supposed to depict exactly the deck. Uh, it's just kind of supposed to be a rough gameplay of how I play support with the character. Uh, so I put down... Uh, the special unit, Atriox Chosen, and they actually call in their 
um, condor unit. So I'm gonna move my obviously I'm gonna move my hero hero unit off and get get out of there. And and we finally get coordinated. We're moving everything off. I had called in my assistants just a little bit too early there um, because we had a little bit of a mis miscommunication there uh, about whether we wanted to stay and fight it or move out. Um, and then by the time he moved back in to get inside of the A-Track, I think it's A-Track Bulwark is what it's called, the Invincibility, um, it was pretty much too late. And now I decided here, uh, since we have all moved out, I needed to keep moving my troops out fully. Uh, but there is the Condor unit down. And about now, it's sitting at about 112. Uh, I think we decided that we could hold off. Yeah, here's the other energy core drops. And it's actually a decent drop for us. It drops at the top. And the two positions uh, that no one had, or the one position that no one had covered. Uh, so I believe I try to push over there. No, they got it. I was going to get ready to drop down and push over there to get it. But it ended up being that they had already sent something as a scout over to grab it. So we just decided to let it go. We have gotten most of the energy by now, uh, raking in 1.67 currently. Uh, and so now we push them off of C, or off of A, and I believe here any second now we're going to start our push. Um, you can see those are my troops up there. I'm just trying to be a general annoyance here. That's really just my job until we fully push. Uh, most of my job is scouting and annoyance and uh, buying ourselves time uh, during the general play and then eventually it becomes uh, the full support role once we have attacked. But you can see I have enough for my Scarab Assault, uh, so sometimes the support role that I play, sometimes it just involves dropping a Scarab Assault down. Um, it can be as simple as that, it can be as complicated as having to time my... Um, my drops is Decimus, but it can be as simple as timing my Scarab Assault, um, and, and that's probably the easiest support that I play is when I just have to drop a Scarab Assault. But here's where I drop the turret, and the turret, for 90 energy, it's not horrible if you can put it somewhere where it's not just going to get rained right away. But there's my Scarab Assault drop, and you can see I still have a ton of money, and also what comes with me being the support role is holding these points. Um, holding the, one of the points uh, once they have pushed in with their large armies. You can see they're coming in on the mini-map. Uh, I have my leader unit and I believe it's one hunter left that I'm going to move up towards A. You can see I'm just being a general nuisance with my blood-filled locusts up there. And now they're going to move out here. I would, And I put down those uh, mines a little bit too early. I should have waited until they got to the other side, but Here's the push. I've pushed in with um, my Atriox Chosen as well as my Hunters. I do still have 200 left, and now I'm just dropping things into Fight at A because uh, the triple cap, you gain a little bit more points when you have the triple cap than when you just have the double. So I decided to go ahead and push for A, and there's a Scarab Assault from a teammate to help me clean up A. They had already cleaned up B with the help of my Scarab Assault, and so one of my teammates had enough saved up that he could Scarab Assault. A and we can complete the full triple cap. Uh, one thing that we did poorly here is you can see there are two energies dropped on the map that we completely are ignoring, um, but they don't have any troops out so they can't take any of this. And you can see I get on it quick, noticing that we haven't got the energies. One of the things that uh, once we have we started our full attacks, um, it turns into my job to take care of. Um, collecting the energy, or paying attention to energy drops and either collecting them or telling my teammates, hey, we've had an energy drop, we need to go grab those, because, you know, it tells you, obviously, that there's been an energy drop, but it's not, sometimes if you're in the middle of attacking, it's kind of hard to be like, okay, well, now i got to go get the energy, so since I'm more of a sport role and I have my troops set back and I'm not moving them in and I'm really just dropping helpful things that help their, either the armies or slow the enemy taking them invincible, whatever, it may be, um... It's my, they made, or we've just kind of made it my job to keep track of that and ma pay attention and know, um, and know when, um, new energy drops mid-attack. And a lot of the times it's my responsibility to go get it, as you saw. I did drop those elite hunters and that chopper to go and attempt to get it. They pushed for the one that my chopper couldn't get because he died, uh, but the elite rangers were able to clean that up. But there is the victory, guys. Um, I believe... I may have a couple of packs at the end of this. Um, I've been tr I tried to leave them in just to show you guys a couple of packs. Yeah, we go. there we go. Ranked up to rank five. 
um, and completed the daily challenge. So there is a couple of packs opened up here at the end. Um, actually, there's three packs opened up, completed two challenges. Uh, and so the beta is coming to a close. I will probably have some For Honor beta. A friend got me into the closed beta. Uh, he got a bunch of codes for the closed beta. And so I'm going to be firing that up either tonight or tomorrow. So hopefully I will have some closed beta for For Honor. Um, I didn't get Resident Evil 7. So I thought I'd bring you guys some of these betas that I'm playing. For Honored and Halo Wars 2. I may be picking up Resident Evil 7. I don't know. I'm not huge into horror games. I'm not really huge into Resident Evil. I like watching people play it, but I'm not really into playing it myself. Now, there is a really good card, the Enduring Blister Pack. Uh, one of my favorite cards for Atriox that's not actually in this gameplay because I just unlocked it. And there's the Condor Strike being leveled up to level 2. Uh, a lot of these changes don't go into effect. I don't think I've gotten a whole lot of gameplays past this one. Like, I think rank 5 is about the last time I recorded. I think I'm rank 6 now. Uh, I haven't actually been playing that much. I haven't had time. I had this, like, huge paper I've needed to write. So, once I get that done uh, tonight, I should be able to um, pump out some more videos this weekend for you guys. But here is the last pack. And then we'll wrap this bad boy up, and I will catch you guys in the next one, which will be Shipmaster Assault deck. Now, I may go back and do other variations of the decks that I've already done, but I wanted to get through all six of the heroes uh, before the beta ran out, so um, I won't be going back. There's the Siphon Field, a uh, new thing for Testimus, as I've shown you guys. Uh, Watchtower for Anders, that's an interesting card. Uh, it does have its uses, but... I'm not sure how great it is, and there's eradication. But guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. We'll be going over Shipmaster. Peace out, guys. Letting go, times we might feel like looking down from the heights.